today we are going to deal with gamma distribution so a continuous random variable x is said to be following a gamma distribution with parameter lambda greater than 0 if the probability density function of x is f of x is equal to e power minus x x power lambda minus 1 by square root of lambda for lambda greater than 0 and x greater than 0 where the mean and variance both are equal to lambda we get moment generating function mx of t as 1 minus t the power minus lambda where modulus of t or magnitude of t is less than 1 a continuous random variable x is said to be following gamma function for with parameters beta and lambda then the probability density function of x is said to be as follows f of x is equal to e to the power minus beta x into x to the power mi lambda minus 1 into beta to the power lambda by square root of lambda for lambda comma beta both greater than 0 and x greater than 0 and here the mean is lambda by beta and variance is equals to lambda by beta square and here the moment generating function mx of t is equals to 1 minus t by beta to the power whole to the power minus lambda and t is less than beta now let us discuss some properties uh, first one is additive property if x1 x2 so on until xn are n independent gamma variates with parameter lambda 1 lambda 2 so on to lambda n then x1 plus x2 plus so on till xn is also a gamma variate so this is additive property well, you can see it's like self-explanatory given the gamma variate that is x1 plus x2 plus so on till xn as lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda n, so on till lambda n as the parameter second is sum of independent exponential random variate is a gamma, gamma random variate that is suppose x1 x2 so on till xn are n independent random variables having exponential distribution with parameters lambda then z is equals to xi summation of xi where i varies from 1 to n then z is a gamma random variable with parameter n and n by lambda now we will discuss the relationship between beta and gamma distributions which you can see as follows meanwhile i'll tell you the applications of gamma distribution those are being used if for in used to model the size of insurance claims rainfalls they have been also used to model errors in multi-level poison regression models used in neuroscience bacterial gene expressions in genomics and also widely used as a conjugate prior in Bayesian statistics.